All right, guys, so it's time to render the previews for our catalog prior to going through and working on them. We've already imported these. The standard import preset should have already been applied, which if we switch to the develop module and look, it is indeed applied because we see it selected. All right, guys, so what we're going to do is switch back to the develop module by hitting G. I'm going to go up to the library menu. We're going to go to previews, and we're going to hit render one-to-one -one previews, and we're going to hit build all. Now this is going to take a few minutes to render, so you probably want to step away from your computer for a little bit and then uh, come back to the tutorials as soon as it finishes. Now depending on the speed, like we mentioned, it could take anywhere between 10 minutes and up to an hour uh, if you're running on a slightly slower machine. But uh, here is a quick overview once again why we're rendering one-to-one -one previews. When you render one-to-one -one previews, as you are going through and developing, it will create all the previews necessary for developing as, as well as for zooming in and checking sharpness uh, on your images. This will render not only the one-to-one -one preview, but also the standard and the thumbnail preview all at the same time. So it's rendering all the previews necessary for the library and develop modules. And the goal of that is basically to make it really quick when you're moving from image to image so you don't have to sit in front of your computer waiting as Lightroom is sitting there rendering previews uh, of each image. Now, just a reminder to you guys, in the develop module, you must have at least the standard preview rendered uh, for Lightroom to basically use in the develop module without having to render its own previews as you're working. Now, some people ask, why not just render standard previews only? Well, like we said, the reason why is because rendering the one-to-one -one preview will render all three versions. So that way, when you need to zoom in on an image and check sharpness, which is something that we do fairly often, you know, we're checking sharpness, we're, we're going and looking at details, then it's not going to pause and wait as you zoom in. But if necessary, you can also run the develop module with just the standard previews. That is the smallest preview necessary to be able to develop your photos. So if you don't render those prior to working the develop module, then Lightroom will pause as you go from image to image to render each one as you are working, which is going to slow things down tremendously. So render your previews, guys. Hopefully you guys understand exactly why we do one-to-one -one previews and you adopt this into your workflow. Now we'll let this finish up rendering and we'll see you guys with the next tutorial.